Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you're new to my channel, please. <laughs> One, subscribe, two, like, share, don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification, three, like, leave a comment, subscribe, or subscribe, all right. Today, we are going to review our second quarter. Um, and in preparation for the periodic exam. Okay, so let us review. Okay, let's try to answer number one. To solve an inequality means to find all values of the variable for which the statement is true. A, always true. B, sometimes. C, false. Or D cannot be determined. So what do you think is the answer? The answer here is letter A. No, it's always true. What is the graph of linear inequality? A parabola, B half plane, C straight line, D hyperbola. So if you you said it well, you do you know that the answer is a B. Okay, it's always a half plane like this no okay number three are the points on the boundary line part of the solution set yes or no of course the answer should be yes they are part of the solution it's there which point below is not a part of the solution set so here uh, which point is not part of the solution set no so if you can see here um zero and negative uh two is not part of the solution set why it's all up no it's all up so that means the all the uh, answer here is um in the positive then number five choose the inequality that matches the graph so if you examine this, no, uh, the answer is either uh, equal to or greater than. So the possible answer is letter C. Hey. Okay? All right. So let us continue. Number five. Choose the inequality that matches the graph. So if you are consider here no so we have your half plane going up no so if you are going to examine that that is the possible answer is letter c no so for number six if the linear inequality contains an equality symbol of less than or equal to or greater than or equal to what kind of line are you going to use a broken line b solid line C, a plane, a plane line, or D, coordinate plane? The answer is solid line. Okay? So, if there is a design, no, there is an equal, no, you have to use solid line. Number seven, which of the following shows the graph of a linear inequality? Y is greater than or, or equal to 4x minus 1. So the post, the most possible answer is the graph letter C. Uh, this one. Okay, so just analyze why. Okay. Number eight. Which of this is one of the solutions to the system 2x minus 3y 
greater than 5 and 3y greater than 2x minus 9. Okay, if you are going to solve this, no, with the possible solution is, of course, 0, 0. Because we are always uh, go back to the uh, original or the origin. Okay? So, for number 9, uh, tickets for a play are cost 250 for adults and 200 for children. The sponsor for the show collected a total of, of uh, amount not more than 144000 from more than 150 adults and children who watched the play. Which of the following can be possible number of adults and children who watched the play? A. 45 adults and 35 children. B. 75 adults and 50 children. C. 100 adults and 49 ch children. Or D. 200 adults and 250 children. Okay. So, from here, uh, you, know, you can analyze that for 250 and 200, of course, there are 200 adults and 250 children. Okay. Hey, so who watched the play? No, so from more than 150 adults, of course, you can you can divide this one. No, so 250, 200. No, yes. Okay, number ten. I mix um, home decorations. So it takes her two hours to make a bouquet, one hour to make a basket. Uh, she can work no more, no work, uh, no more than forty hours per week. The cost to to make one bouquet is one hundred fifty pesos, and the cost to make a basket is one hundred pesos. She can afford to spend no more than three thousand six hundred pesos per week. So which of the following inequality would represent the number of hours that IE can work? Okay, so if you are going to analyze, so we have two hours here, two hours to make a bouquet and one hour to make a basket. So that means um we have two x, no? So the 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 correct representation here is that or b. So that is two x plus y is less than or equal to forty. Okay. We have here forty hours. So more or less, no? You can you can do. Uh, in 40 hours or she can do in a 40 hours okay number 11 which of the following equations is a function of course from this given the answer is function letter b because x squared plus y squared is equal to 16 now all of this are and we have here 16 and this is not a function okay so the correct answer is letter b number 12 lisa is taking a chemistry course in which three tests are given to get a a b she must average at least 80 on three tests she got 86 and 72 on the first two sets respectively determine in terms of an inequality that what score on last test will allow her to get at least a b okay so t is greater than 80 b uh, greater than or equal to 78 or greater than 82 or d greater than or the, the score is greater than or equal to 82 so, of course, the score must be um, greater than or equal to 82 to get at least B, which is about 80, no? 13, 
the solution set for the system of linear equation is now since this is um, uh, multiple choice sometimes it's um, let us analyze the, the given choices here so just trap those are not necessary so of course we can we can drop this already no anywhere in a graph there is no graph so your choices now is a or b so the correct answer is where the shading overlaps of course yes okay okay so since 13 we are done already here no which is the answer is a uh, let's go to 14. in which quadrants is the solution set no of x minus 2 y greater than or equal to 7 and x plus y less than or equal to 22. so the answer of course you can find at quadrant um quadrant 3 and 4. why because this, these are uh positive and negative so three you can find all the negative solutions and in four your x is um negative positive and y is negative so because of the two okay next number 15 in an equation where y is expressed in terms of x the possible x is considered the blank okay so a dependent variable b independent variable or c relation or d ordinate so x can be considered as independent variable okay number 16 which of the following correspondence is a function okay so we have here eight one to one one to many many to one of course our correct answer is letter d okay so one to one and many to one is or many to one is a function okay which relation is not a function for this uh if you need to analyze no like this one no so we ha they have a uh, one to one no relationship so this one is a function okay Okay, so for more questions and clarifications, just write them at the comment section. We will continue on the next video uh, about uh, more a uh, reviewer. Good. So remember, gratitude is the best attitude. Make a love shout out to all my friends there, YTC friends, students. I love you all. Bye.